Okay, so here's one of my favorite problems to look at, and the reason why is we need to remember, if I say 5 times 3 and 3 times 5, are those expressions equal in their value? Yeah. Yes, they are, okay? So 5 times 3 and 3 times 5, those are equal in value. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't matter if I do 5y five, five minus 3 times 7 or 7 times 5y minus 3. Does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. But we like this method, right? That's just the way most problems come in their form, and we know we just go like this. Well, it's the same thing over here. It doesn't matter. So you do 5y times 7 minus 3 times 7. Notice that that, negative, that 3 is negative, all right? And it doesn't matter you know, which one I'm applying in parentheses, but then I have 5y times 7. Well, if I'm multiplying a variable times a variable, you just multiply those two variables. Uh, you just say like m times n is just m times n. Here, if I have 7 times 5y, that's going to turn to a 35y. And then negative 3 times 7 is a negative 21. And that would be your final answer. OK? Put your answer right now.